started it. So I think I was just talking about the team's performance tonight. What was working for you guys? Uh, I think it was just us being confident tonight, so playing our game, listening to Coach Mack, and just you know locking it at the task at hand. We've, we've been taking it each game at a time, and that's what we did tonight, and that's why we were able to get the win. From all perspectives, this is very good. It's how it's you guys tell us that the last couple nights of the first half. Is that the way you guys do it? What does Coach Matt tell you guys about it? Uh, it's just how we got to always play. Um, we, haven't, we didn't play like that in the month of February. That's why we didn't do great. And uh, now it's really time to lock in. It's March. You know, it's every stage is going to be a big stage. Every game is a big game. We're really just playing for our lives now, and that's that's how we got treated. You know, take one game at a time. If you win, you're going to keep playing, and if you lose, you're done. You got, so that's how we got how we're going to take it. You got going early. What were you seeing from them that made you? Uh, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I think I just, if I had some space, I just shot it. So uh, that's what I just, if I saw some space, I'm, I'm going to shoot the ball. You know, that's what I do. And uh, there were some times they backed off me and I was able to uh, convert. Did you realize you scored the first 12 points for you guys? Uh, I don't think I did. I was, it was just in the moment. So I think after I, they pulled me out and somebody told me on the bench, but uh, I wasn't thinking about it when, it when it was happening. Your teammates say that when you come out with energy, it spreads throughout the whole team. How, how important is it for you to come out with energy? every game? Uh, you know, it's it's really big, you know. Uh, you know, my job for this team is to obviously score the ball, you know, rebound. And, uh, you know, when I come out and can do that, obviously this team is going to be, be really good. And they're they're going to feed off my energy, and that's going to be, you know, them going to. Transition, Carolina transition is such a talking point. How easy is it to say it? How hard is it to do it? Uh, it's really easy to say, and it's definitely hard to do it. Uh, it's, it's definitely something special they have in transition. Uh, nobody else in the country really does what they do, and that's why they're so successful. So we just got to do what we did in the first game against them and uh, you know, put that in the place again. We can't play how we did the second game at home uh, in order to have a chance. There was a lot of discussion about the second game that you all came out flat or whatever. How do you avoid that after already playing a game today? Just being physical, just being tough. We, we didn't play like that the first, uh, I mean, the second game at home. You know, that's why they were able to, to you know, beat us. We were playing from behind the whole game. You know, that's something tough to do, especially against such a great team. Does the way you all beat them that first time give you all confidence? And what can you take from that game into this game? Oh, yeah, it definitely gives us confidence. You know, confidence. I think we're confident against, you know, any team in the country. Uh, and we're just going to, going into tomorrow, we're just going to try to do what we did the first game, like I said, just be physical, uh, limit their transition, uh, scoring. And uh, if we do that, like I said, we're going to have, have a pretty good chance to win there. Jordan, how much does this performance show growth in this team? Uh, a lot. I think it just shows our resi uh, resiliency. You know, it, it was a, a long stretch for us. Uh, we didn't do what we were supposed to do. You know, we know that. And uh, because of that, uh, we have an uh, edge or chip on our shoulder, shoulder uh, carrying us in these games. Because of the tough times, did this feel good? Yeah, it definitely felt good. You know, getting the one the ACC tournament, you know, having a chance to you know, play North Carolina. So. It feels like because so many so many guys contributed for your team tonight. Uh, yeah, that, that feels feels great too. You know, everybody did their thing. You know, even Darius caught a little baby dunk. That was cool <laughs> on his birthday. So it's all right. <laughs> Darius said some of you guys don't even call that a dunk. Would you consider that a dunk? Uh, yeah, I consider it a dunk. He's like 5'8", so, you know, when he can get up over there in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to it up. Yeah, I just said you were 5'8", too. Come on, bro. I'm 6'2". The importance of battling Carolina on the boards. Uh, that's that's uh, a, a big task, you know. That's two of the things you're great at, is running and transition and, and rebounding. Uh, we're just going to have to be physical and be tough. Uh, just battle with those guys. You know, Luke is one of the best, best players in the country. And then uh, obviously Garrison's a big body too. We're gonna have to do a good job on those guys. How much have you improved as a scorer? You know, a lot of times if your if your outside shot isn't falling, it was tough. But but here in the last month or so, you've been attacking much more. Uh, it's improved a lot. You know, I've seen a lot of defenses this year. You know, even in this game, they played triangle two for about a minute, and they realized they can't do that <laughs> with with our team. And. Uh, it's just something I've kind of adapted to a little bit, and I've gotten used to how the teams are starting to guard me now. And uh, because of that, I'm able to you know, see, see the floor more and see uh, the ways I can score the ball. Do you like the fact that teams try to take you away? Uh, sometimes it's tough, but I, I definitely like it. It means, it means they're respecting me a lot. I mean, if they, they know what I do, and sometimes it even opens up a lot of other guys for shots and things like that. 
because they're so worried about me uh, getting shots. So. Roy Williams talked about guarding differently from game one to game two. I mean, you, I imagine you'll see the same thing tomorrow, or do you think you'll see anything different? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll see the same thing. You know, it works for them in the second game, but uh, it's just something I'm going to have to be ready for. Uh, I think the last last time they called me a little off guard, and I, and I didn't play how I was supposed to play. I think I was still, you know, trying to settle too much, and that kind of kind of hurt me and hurt the team. And uh, it's something I can't do tomorrow if we want to win. Have you changed your your approach since that time, knowing that teams will put their best defender on you? Uh, it's just it's really just a mindset. You know, I feel like I'm one of the best scorers in the country. So uh, if you can put your best defender on me. If they're gonna be a great defender. You know, I'm a great scorer. It's gonna be that way every day, every time I play. And uh, it's just something I'm gonna have to get used to. And uh, it's just gonna be a battle every time. That's really the best way to put it. I'm gonna try to do my best to you know put my team in a position to win games. You were saying you weren't really conscious that you'd scored the first 12 points. If you had known. Is it, what's the instinct there? Keep shooting, you get greedy, or do you, do you get self-conscious and think, I need to share the ball? What, what, how does that work? Uh, I think it's just uh, just keep going. You know, if, if it opens up, it opens up. Mm -hmm. But also in the back of my mind, I, I'd be thinking, you know, I just hit a bunch of shots and then uh, be worried about me a lot, so other guys are going to be open. Mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, I'm a lot, so. You've had two very dominant.